don't know me, my name is Sarah. I am the director of Christian Education Youth here at First Christian Church. And welcome to Disciples Kids. This isn't normally how we do it. Usually we're meeting together, but we cannot do that right now. So we bring Disciples Kids to you. So I know last week, Pam did a video about Mary, the mother of Jesus. So today I get to do a video. And I'm really excited I get to do this. Um, just want to say we miss you all. <laughs> we really miss you and we are praying for you all. So at this time, usually we open up with a prayer. So I'm going to light the God candle. And this signifies our time for prayer. And we usually get a ton of prayer requests for the kids, from the kids. And usually just some of the prayers that we usually get um, pets are a big one, just praying for pets that have passed on and for those who just got new pets, uh, or for those who just want to pray for their pet. Anyway, I will absolutely lift them up, um, lift up just families in general for those struggling with jobs, those just struggling with sickness. We will lift those up today. And we've had a few requests of those who were pregnant, for those parents who are pregnant. So we will be lifting up those um, family members who are pregnant today and just pray for God's blessing on them. And if the kids watch this video and they have any prayer requests today, please feel free to reach out to me. I will not put them on the video, but just if they would like someone to pray for them, um, we would absolutely love that. So in the, so right now, I'm going to bow my head in prayer, and then we will do a lesson. So just bow your heads with me. Dear God, we thank you for today. We thank you for the sunshine, Lord. And we pray, we just pray for just this amazing day, Lord, that you, that you have brought here. And we lift up pets, Lord, for all the kids' pets, that they are just loved by you. And for those who went up, to see you, Lord, that they are just looking down on their owners with joy. We lift up families in the midst of this time for those who've lost their jobs or for those sick, Lord, that you just bring your peace and your healing and your comfort to those in the midst of this. We lift up those who are going to bring new bundles of joy into the world, Lord. We just pray um, that it's just a safe and healthy pregnancy. And we lift up each kid who's watching this, Lord, that they find you today and that they take this lesson that we're going to teach them and that they just remember, they find your goodness in it. Lord, it's in all these things, in your son's name we pray. Amen. Oh, that got right in my face. So, um, so last week was Easter. You know, that's when Jesus comes back, rises again after dying on the cross three days before. It's a really big event. And so Pam talked about Mary, the mother of Jesus, mother of James perspective, kind of what she was feeling. I'm going to talk today about Mary Magdalene. So Mary Magdalene was someone who was a really big follower of Jesus. She loved Jesus with all of her heart. And she was one of the few that on Easter, she finds the tomb. So usually for disciples kids, we have Legos and they get to build the scene with Legos. So what I, I would encourage you, if you have Legos at home, I would go grab those real quick. And I'm gonna show you what I did, but if you don't have Legos, go get a piece of paper and a pencil and draw out what I'm gonna, draw out the scene that I'm gonna read today, that I'm gonna talk about today. Or for those who are really creative, draw a comic strip. Make a comic about the scene between Jesus and Mary Magdalene. I think you'll find that it's really cool, especially the older kids, I think you'd really enjoy that. So I would go ahead and get a piece of paper, get your Legos ready. Now, my scene I made today, I don't know if you can see, usually 
We just let the kids go. We don't give them an example. I'm going to give you an example today. So, as you can see, this is my tomb with my little stone that's moved. And this is Mary praying. You can see, that's her praying. So, if you have... You have Legos, go ahead and get those out so you can start building. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be Mary Magdalene telling you the story of when she saw Jesus again for the first time. So I'm going, use your imaginations, and I'm going to transform myself into Mary Magdalene, okay? Well, hello everyone. My name is Mary Magdalene. You may have heard of me before. I was a devout follower of Jesus. I loved Jesus with all my heart. Do you love Jesus? I, I really bet you do. I heard Jesus for the first time speak and I knew I wanted to follow him. I knew there was something about him that I loved and he was my he was my teacher, my rabbi, my rabboni, so I would call him. So just imagine going, walk, being with Jesus in all of what he was doing, going to the different places, to Galilee, then going to Jerusalem with him. I followed him everywhere because I loved him that much. Is there anything that you really love? Go ahead and talk about that. Is there something you really love? Because I really loved Jesus. And I was there the day he died on the cross, watching someone I love and I look up to so much, like a teacher, die on the cross for a reason. It was so hard. And I was very sad. And I mourned his loss. And we all scattered. We didn't know what to do. We weren't prepared for what was going to happen or what was to come next. We just knew that our teacher, our, our person who loved us beyond belief and whose teachings we follow, just died. So three days after that happens, I go to the tomb. I just want to fix the wrappings of, that Jesus is buried in. And I see that it's open. I was shocked. I didn't know what was going on. It was open and I didn't think anyone had opened it. No one else said they'd opened it. And we go in and he's not there. Could you imagine my shock? I thought someone took him. And it just, we were so, just, it was so crazy. I walk out of the tomb, just out of shock. Before that, two men came and said, were there and said, he's risen. What are you doing here? And I went out and I just cried. I didn't know what was going on. I was so confused. I was lost. And then someone came up to me to talk to me, asking me why I was crying. And I, I couldn't recognize him. I just thought he was the gardener, just doing some some plant, just making the plants look nice. I didn't know what was going on until I realized who he really was. He wasn't a gardener. It was Jesus. It was my teacher. Jesus came back. And I'm crying, screaming, teacher, oh my goodness. He came back. And he went to see me. It was the most incredible feeling in the world to have someone like Jesus love me. And then I went to see the disciples to say, he's here, he's, he's risen. And they really, really didn't believe me. And then Jesus appeared to them later. 
but he came to see me. Sometimes when we've had a bad day or we do something wrong, we don't feel like we're necessarily good enough. I felt like that sometimes. But God loved us so much that he sent Jesus, not just to die on the cross and to rise again, but to teach us and to show us what love is. And he loved me beyond belief and I loved him beyond belief and I still do. And because of that, I was, I got to see him again. Find Jesus this week. In the midst of everything that goes on in your lives, find Jesus. Because he loves you so much. Show that love to others. So I was able to do that after that day. Because I got to see him again.